Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part 10 of the As Built series, a uh, full set of As Built plans. So, to this point, we've drawn our floor plan, we did our uh, sub floor plan, we did, you know, like our foundation and all that, we did all of our elevations except for the rear elevation. So, that's what we're working on in this video. Um, like I said in the last video, we don't have a slider that opens up to a deck or anything like that. So, the rear elevation becomes very easy to draw. If we had all that stuff, the reason why I didn't do it is because we already did it in the front and there's really no value to doing it again on the back um, because it is challenging. It takes a long time to do the handrails and all that good stuff. All right. Um, so in the rear elevation, the last thing you're going to do is you're going to take your floor plan again and you're going to copy that floor plan and you're going to rotate it just like I already did. That way the back of the house is facing down. Okay, so that's what I did here, right? Then you're going to take your construction lines, X line, and you're going to draw off the left wall. Well, I should say the right wall, the left wall, and then this room that bumps out. That's going to be down. That's going to be down. So that should line up with the different corners of the house, right? Now, this becomes a lot easier if we take the front elevation and we draw a line like this and then we take that elevation as long as these are all lined up on your project and we do mirror and we mirror it over this point erase the source no you take this grab it from one of the exterior walls with the move tool and slide until you hit the exterior wall something like that and then you can get rid of these. Um, actually, we're gonna need we're gonna need these two again, but I think it's easier to erase them for now. So now we're gonna basically destruct this drawing. So get all your hatch patterns out of there. Um, go like this with a big blue box and get all that stuff out. Get the doors and windows out. Get these corners out because they're not the same anymore. I'm actually gonna take one of these windows and just move it out because I'm gonna use that again in a second. Um, you can get rid of this and we can get rid of one of these and we'll take the other one and drag that one across all right so now what you got to do is you need these three lines again so go one two three and go mirror and mirror it over this midpoint and erase source no all right so now I actually do have a double line up here. I noticed that I already had a line there, so let me get rid of that one. Um, and then you're going to take these and you're going to stretch them. Let's try that again. S, enter. And you're going to drag that until it hits there. Extend. I'm doing a quick extend right now, which is just extend with an extra enter. Um, let's see, is something wrong? Nope, that goes like that. All right, that is correct. Okay. Now, at this point, we would bring down these corners. This wall comes down. It's going to have a 4-inch offset to the right. Uh, you know what? I should be doing this off the floor plan. I'm sorry. This with a 4-inch with a offset to the right. This with a 4-inch offset to the left. All right. So now you can do trim. You can click this line and hit enter. This is just a regular trim. No extra enter. Trim that. Hit escape regular trim again click this line hit enter trim these down here offset four four right four left match properties blue 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 match properties again by the way the space bar also is uh the same thing as escape so if i'm in this tool right now rather than hitting escape and then space bar to bring me back in i can hit space bar to get me out and spacebar to bring me back in. So when I'm doing this, I'm doing match properties. I did blue, blue, blue. Then I hit spacebar, spacebar. And now I'm doing tan or yellow. Whoops. And then I'm done. Right? Now, next thing, we got to do the foundation lines. This foundation kicks to the right one inch and then it goes down. Get rid of the small line. This one goes, this is just a regular line tool one inch to the left and down 
get rid of the small line. Match properties, blue, blue. Now technically we could just do this and make make objects layer current and click on blue. Now everything we make will be blue. That's going to be a lot less um, match properties. All right, but this is almost all of the house. We've got four windows. We've got to put a roof line back here, and we already pretty much have that. We can get rid of this because we copied this wall section over, and one of those wall sections, I don't know if it was this one or not, had an eight foot line because that room is 16 feet. So we went eight off the exterior wall and we went up and that's how we knew where the peak of this was. And then we're gonna basically take those with that. We're gonna use copy, grab it from the exterior wall and slide that over all the way to the fourth one until we hit, so the green line is right here, until we hit the exterior wall of this bump out room like that. Then we're going to take these and we're going to take those and mirror those from here straight down. Erase, uh, whoop, I got a letter in there. From there to there and then erase the source no, right? So now we got a little bit of trimming to do. Do a quick trim and go right down the middle. Start trimming these back. One, two, three. One, two. And that one's already good. Draw a line up from here until you get the intersection. Trim the extra. That side's done. A little bit more trimming over here. Quick trim. Those go. That goes. That goes. This goes. Draw a line up from here. Quick trim. Get that line off. This is done. The only thing we have to do is windows. Construction line. Whoops. Off the floor plan. There's only four windows to do. One, two, whoop, misclick. Go back to construction line again, X line, three, that's the bathroom window, and this is a bedroom window, four, All right? Now you can see how all mine line up in mine. We're gonna take a line, construction line again from the top of the windows. We're gonna move this from the top left corner to one of those corners. We're gonna take this and copy it three more times. Grab it from the top left, put it at the intersection, intersection, intersection. And now we get rid of these. And then we just got to do the hat. Uh, we got to do the vent. Copy that vent from this point and put that at that point. Now we got hatch patterns. One, two, three, enter or spacebar. Hatch pattern again for the foundation. One, two, three, enter. Match properties, siding, siding, match properties, foundation, foundation. Boom, done. All right. Now, one of the other things you're going to want to put on here is, let's see if I can steal it from somewhere, approximate grade with the arrow. Copy. You could grab it off of here if you want. And we're going to put that on there and we're gonna put it on each one so now once you get one down it actually is easier to grab it again and do copy and then now just stay on the green line we're saying that that's the approximate grade for all four elevations right that's pretty much it that's the end of this one here okay um, now we got to do the roof plan all right um, let's see do I want to do that in the next video Let's leave this one short. We've been making a lot of long videos here, and I want you guys to be able to buzz through one of them. Um, I think video 11 will be the roof plan, which should be another short one. And then video 12 will be setting up all of these in your sheets down here. That way you're able to print it. And then that's it. So there's going to be 12 parts all together, and then it'll be done. All right. Thank you guys for following the As Built series. We're almost there. Probably about another 10 minute, uh, two videos of 10 minutes, and then we're done. All right. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot. Dad, catch
some more.